We have a 2006 Trailblazer EXT. Uh, the problem we're having with this is uh, when we try to start the vehicle, uh, it starts up and it shuts down. Uh, the customer brought it over saying that they had to replace the ignition. So on this vehicle, uh, the key does not need programming. Here's the key. Uh, it does not need any programming, but the ignition requires programming. So if I try to start the vehicle, either it's not going to start or it will start up for like two seconds and shut down. Let's try one more time. See this time it's not even cranking. So we're going to try to follow the procedure to program the ignition. Basically the process is you take your key and you set it to the on position for 10 minutes and 5 seconds. Turn it off. You wait and turn it on. Wait 10 minutes and 5 seconds. And after that, turn it off. And third time, set it back on and wait 10 minutes and 5 seconds and turn it off. The third time you do that, the ignition should be automatically programmed. Um, so we're going to try to do that right now. Alright, so our plan is to do the procedure like I mentioned earlier. But uh, since we're leaving the vehicle on on position for like 10 minutes, we need to hook up a jumper box here in order to make sure that the battery does not die. Okay, so we have our jumper box hooked up. As you can see, uh, we're going to turn the jumper on and then start the procedure. Right. Okay, this is going to be our first try. And we just started the watch. As you can see. So we have to wait 10 minutes and 5 seconds and turn off the ignition. So we'll pause the video here. Alright, so this is almost 10 minutes as you can see. And 5 seconds right there. Turn it off. And we got to turn it back on and reset our timer. Right there. So this uh, time is going to be the third time. Uh, so after this procedure, the ignition in theory should be programmed. So we'll cut it off at right now. Take the key out. Let's see if that procedure worked or not. the check engine light is on but uh, those maybe some engine codes in there but uh, it's not cutting off like before it definitely looks like it worked so programming the ignition did not fix the problem the car would still not start it would start for a second turn off and uh, we eventually got it fixed but here's what was the solution for the problem so it turns out that the engine computer for this vehicle 
had some kind of a problem so we went ahead and got a used engine computer as you can see this is the original one we went ahead and installed the used from a junkyard engine computer into the harness and then what we noticed when we started the vehicle this light would stay on and uh, which tells us that it was not programmed to this vehicle and needed programming so um, we followed that 30 minute procedure again 10 times on uh, 10 minutes on and three times but that did not help so eventually we ended up calling uh, a local guy here who programs computers he came over spent about an hour uh, programming the computer and the immobilizer and uh, the problem was fixed as you can see it starts right up every single time no more of that issue check engine lights still on we're gonna check what the problem is but that's what fixed the problem it, it ended up being uh, damaged or or malfunctioned engine computer